In 1939, Adolf Hitler stopped wearing his famous beige party uniform with party armband and instead adopted a unique version of a field grey military uniform, as he was by now commander in chief of the German armed forces. Hollywood films often portray Hitler as wearing this brown Nazi party uniform during World War II. This is incorrect, he very rarely wore these clothes after 1939. Unlike other dictators, Hitler's wartime uniform is extremely plain and functional. He was keen to present himself as a modest man to the German people. The uniform consisted of a high double-breasted field grey tunic with a golden Nazi party eagle on the left upper arm, a white shirt, black tie, black trousers and leather shoes. His cap was field grey with dark brown peak and gold embroidered eagle and national cockade. The brown recalled the old Nazi party colours. Unlike the highly decorated generals that surrounded him, Hitler only wore three decorations. His Iron Cross First Class, a wound badge from the First World War and a golden party badge. The Iron Cross First Class was awarded to him in 1918 for bravery in combat during the First World War. He was very proud of this decoration, and it highlighted his frontline bravery he felt in front of his troops. His wound badge in black had been awarded in 1918 for being gassed by the British in the trenches. This award symbolised his connection to the suffering of veterans during the Great War. Finally, his Golden Party Badge was a symbol of his long service to the Nazi Party. He showed that he was one of the first party members. Hitler chose not to wear a ribbon bar, as this would distract from his other major decorations, and would also impinge on the whole idea of being the simple field commander, tied to the German armed forces. <laughs>